to take the measure of Israeli politics again, look here. The Tel Aviv Stock Exchange, where the Taste 35 index ended Sunday down 1%. Not because of economic data, but because of this. <laughs> Therefore, we will meet this week and start this week the active steps. We will take them in a measured, responsible manner, but in accordance to the measurements we set to make changes to the legal system. The announcement. The proposed judicial overhaul is back, at least in part, on Israel's legislative agenda. The issue that so divided Israel in the late winter and spring, now coming back for a summer season. The plan, reportedly, is gradual. First, moving forward on some of the less controversial parts of the package, but then coming back in a few months to the turbulent issue of reshaping the committee that picks judges. Netanyahu will also fail because he will not have a majority of the people, and by my estimation, will also not have a majority in the Knesset. I suggest to Netanyahu, instead of threatening, fulfill your commitments. Instead of firing Justice Minister Yariv Levine, Netanyahu is firing the State of Israel. We will fight along with lawmakers from the coalition to ensure that that doesn't happen. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's decision comes on the back of a raucous day in the Israeli parliament Wednesday that led to breaks both between coalition and opposition and within the coalition itself. Netanyahu's intentions are hard to read. He may be taking a baton from coalition partners, but planning to drag his feet. Or the overhaul could move forward in force with more stormy days on the stock exchange, fiery nights on Israel's streets.